National Services Minister Ronald Lamolas has hit back at opposition leaders, saying their response to the State of the Nation address is a clear and dishonest misrepresentation of the ANC. I'm very disappointed with Honorable Shibambo because almost like Honorable Steinhuizen, Honorable Steinhuizen quoted his hero, P.W. Bota, without acknowledging him on the Rubicon speech. Honorable Shibambo has just dusted off all ANC documents and presented them here as his. Let me show you how. Honorable Shibambo speaks about the state-owned bank. The ANC has resolved on the state-owned bank and the Minister of Telecommunication has already put a bill in this house. The state-owned bank is already in the process of being constituted. On the issue of ESCOM playing a role on renewable, ESCOM is already repurposing Komati to play a role in renewables. There is nothing new. As we speak now, ESCOM Komati is being renewed. We are working to ensure that ESCOM plays a role on renewables. He also came in here and speak about China, that China only deals with one company in terms of unbundling. China has got various state-owned companies in various provinces and regions dealing with energy generation, dealing with distribution, dealing with the supply of electricity. It does not have only one company like ourselves. It is therefore dishonest and intellectual misrepresentation by Honorable Shivam. Well, Lamolo also went on to say the DA should stop pinning ESCOM's problems on ANC cadre deployment. He says the power utility is in this state because of corruption. The position of the DA to attack cadre deployment is also consistent with the PW Butter vision. It is a sophisticated racist trope that black people should not hold strategic and leadership positions in the country. As Honorable Konjo yesterday correctly demonstrated, there are countless incidents of the DA deploying their own people here in the Western Cape, in other places where they govern at the expense of the fiscals and rationality. Let me remind the DA, when ESCOM was named as the global power company of the year, it was not under apartheid. It was led by the ANC in 2002. In this, by the Financial Times Global Energy Awards, the CEO, it was Tulani Kabasha. The South African Revenue Services, not long ago, was one of the best tax revenue collection agencies in the world. And the commissioner was other than none other than P.G. Gordon. This, this shows that CADA deployment works. And we have done it before, and we will do it again, in terms of rebuilding the state-owned entities. We will continue to ensure that people of unbreakable record Ethical leaders lead state-owned entities, they lead in government, and they revive state-owned entities, including government departments.